Welcome to another campground tour. My name is Matt, and today I'm at the beautiful holiday campground here in Panacea, Florida. We're Matt and Dave, and together with our dogs Belle and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our escape travel trailer. In the winter of 2023, we traveled from Ontario to Texas to pick up a 17-foot Casita trailer and spent over a month on the road. We liked it so much that by the fall of 2023, we upgraded to a 19-foot escape trailer so that I had space to work from the road. We haven't looked back since. Come see where we go next. The campground I'm showing you today is by far my favorite campground in all of Florida. This is Holiday Campground and it's a private campground located in Panacea, Florida, right in the county of Wakala. If you like water, this is the campground for you. This campground is located directly on the Oblocti Bay, which is part of the Gulf of Mexico. And there's many, many waterfront campsites in this campground which give you amazing views of the water. This is probably one of the best ways to really show you what holiday campground looks like. I'm out on the bridge right now that passes next to the campground. And as you can see at this campground, a lot of the trailers end up right on the water with a really large backyard and a fishing pier. So it's a pretty awesome place to be. What you're seeing here is the front row campsites that get the prime views of the water. And one of the nicest things about this is not only are all of these trailers getting a beautiful view, but there's enough buffer between the trailers and the water that there's this big common area. So regardless of whether or not you've got a campsite, that has these views, you can walk over, bring your seats, and enjoy this area just like everyone else. And there's also this beautiful private fishing pier. That is great if you like fishing or if you just wanna watch the sunsets. And by the way, you might have noticed on the campground sign that it says they have unbeatable sunsets. I can indeed confirm that that is correct we've seen some of the most beautiful sunsets that we've ever seen at this campground. So what else does this campground have to offer? Well, as expected with this caliber of campground, each campsite does have water, there's electricity, there's sewer hookups, and there's also cable TV. The campground also offers Wi-Fi. Depending on how many campers that are actually at the campground, Sometimes the Wi-Fi can be kind of slow, but it's sufficient for checking email, checking social media. Streaming can be a little bit tricky at time, but we managed to uh, stream quite a few things while we were here. Not only does this campground have this beautiful water body that you're seeing behind me, they have also installed a pool, and this pool was newly installed a year or two ago. So it's in great shape, and if you're not comfortable swimming in this water body, in the salt water, you can check out the pool. It's also a salt water pool, which is nice. You don't have that chlorine smell after you go swimming. The lots at this campground are quite small and you are very close to your fellow campers. They're not big lots and you don't have cement pads, but honestly, that's not what you're here for. If you're here, you're here to listen to the sound of the water, you're here to enjoy the beautiful views, and you're also here to take in some of old Florida. So what do I mean by old Florida? Well, this whole area on the Panhandle isn't as frequently visited by tourists as some of the places further south in Florida. And what that means is you get more of a genuine Florida. You're not just seeing things that are tailored towards tourists. This campground is on the smaller side from campgrounds that you might be used to seeing in the Florida area. 
There's, there's probably 80 campsites here, if not a little bit less. And more than, than half of them are on the waterfront. The other half, which I'm passing by now, are located around a back horseshoe. And it does seem like a lot of those folks are actually here for a longer extended period of time, maybe a, a few months at a time. Um, some of them I expect are probably even living here based on what we've seen. Like most campgrounds, this campground has a beautiful covered area, which you can see I'm entering into now. So if you wanna have some outdoor meals and it's raining, you can come and make some meals in here. Today, as you can see, some folks have used it as a garage space for their motorcycles. This park has laundry facilities, $2 for a wash, $2 for a dry. They also have a nice clubhouse. So if you want to play some card games or um, get together with a larger group of friends and you don't have room in your trailer, there's a great space for that. I actually used the clubhouse while I was here as my office space because I was working on the road. The bathhouse here is newly renovated. It looks like it was renovated maybe three to four years ago. Very good condition. Probably some of the best showers I've ever had as well. Super high pressure shower heads and nice hot water as well. When you first look at this campground on the map, you might notice that it is located right next to the highway. And you could actually hear some of that highway noise in the background right now. There's some motorcycles passing by. But to be honest, the overall road noise is fairly minimal. Here you can see the main office. Being a private campground, reservations are still fairly easy, easy to do. We called to book our reservations, but I do believe that there's also an online portal where you can make your reservations as well. This campground does have a lot of repeat guests, including us. So if you're planning to come here, you do want to make your reservations early. For this year, we actually made our reservations a year in advance. So as usual, I like to give some tips on things that you can do in the area that are either free or low cost and things that we've actually done. So the first thing that I'll mention is Tallahassee is only a 50 minute drive away. We headed into Tallahassee. We visited the Florida State Capitol Museum, which was really interesting, beautiful old building. We also went to a restaurant in that area um, that was called Harry's. Great food, good prices as well. We spent a lot of time while we were here on our paddle boards and the proximity to water makes that really easy. Not only the water that I've shown you in some of the previous clips, but there's also a lot of little marshy areas and streams and bays around where we were able to take our paddle board and just experience true Florida wildlife. Just be careful of the gators if you're gonna do that. There's some great restaurants in the area as well. We went out to a little Mexican restaurant that's only a mile down the road with some friends that we've met here and they had delicious food and two for one margaritas. So couldn't go wrong with that. While we were here, we were lucky enough to be here during the time of the Wakala Beer and Oyster Festival. So that was really neat. Very, very popular and annual festival here where we got to try some raw oysters, some boiled crawfish, all kinds of foods that we wouldn't normally get up in Canada. There's also some beautiful beaches around. And actually, if you have your bike here, you can bike to just about all of them. We didn't have bikes, so we drove. They're all about five to 10 minutes driving. You've got Mashes Point nearby. You've got Bald Point State Park. You've also got Alligator Point. And if you make your way up to Alligator Point, there's actually a cool little tiki hut there that serves drinks and little appetizers. So we checked that out. And there also happened to be live music while we were there. So that was pretty cool. Ultimately, if you're looking for a park where you could enjoy water views, where you can relax, have a nice low key holiday, definitely recommend you make your way down to the Panacea area and come to Holiday Camp Campground. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button. Or, even better, subscribe to our channel. It really does help us reach a wider audience. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.